EARLY SUNDAY MORNING TRAFFIC CRASHES CLAIM THE LIVES OF A BROTHER AND SISTER ALONG WITH TWO OTHER YOUNG PEOPLE. WKY'S CORY PIPPIN JOINS US LIVE NOW WITH MORE. STEVE, FAMILIES ARE NOW MOURNING THE LOSS OF THEIR LOVED ONES FROM THE CRASH, WHICH I'M TOLD HAPPENED DURING A DRIVE THE YOUNG VICTIMS MADE OFTEN. Hell, uh, it hurts. Uh, Cameron was, you know, like my best friend. Balloons, flowers, and stuffed animals held up by crime scene tape. Reminders of an accident at the corner of Taylor Boulevard and Oakwood that took the lives of 17 year old Cameron Blaney and siblings Charles and Shelley Lanham. Peter Blaney, Cameron's father, says the three had been hanging out together and were driving back to his house. Police say around 1 a.m., Shelly Lanham lost control of this white car while heading southbound on Taylor Boulevard and was T-boned by a Dodge Charger. It happened less than five minutes from Blaney's home. They like taking the back roads, coming home, and I guess that's what they did was try to turn down the back road up there. Two people in the truck were taken to University Hospital. All three in the car died at the scene. Blaney found out the tragic news after Cameron's sister, Caitlin, began trying to call them. At 3 o'clock in the morning, two tow trucks come right past our house with the vehicles on them. And Caitlin was like, that's Shelly's car. So we started calling the hospitals. Blaney says Cameron and Charles were brother in laws, but more like siblings. They had been helping him around the house since he became disabled. He says his son was always active. He loved ROTC and was a sophomore at Iroquois High School. He liked biking and, you know, just going up to the park and hanging out. You know, the girls, of course. But the thing he remembers the most his big heart. Yeah, his. Big heart's the biggest thing. Well, he loved everybody. Police are still investigating whether speed, the conditions, or drugs or alcohol were factors in the crash. Residents nearby tell us speeding is a problem in the area. If you'd like to help, a GoFundMe account has now been set up to help the Blaney family pay for Cameron's services. Corey Pippen, WLKY News.